Uh, this next one's going to be about Zoom. You wrote a really interesting Forbes piece about some of the things they're doing around the platform and the connectivity. Let's start there. Yeah. So um, essentially, you know, big picture, a lot of these SaaS companies are looking at uh, full stacks as one of the ways to success. We have a full stack from Microsoft, full stack from Google, uh, and and Salesforce is trying to build a full stack too. And part of this is is messaging and it's messaging not just for the capability of messaging, but it's messaging also for the data that it can mine and use to improve experiences and get insights into, into what people are doing. Uh, one of the missing pieces that you and I both talked about is, hey, where's the video element of this, right? Um, there is integration, uh, a lot of integration with Zoom, uh, but there's also integration with, uh, with uh, AWS and, and what it's doing on the video front. Well. Slack came out uh, at their Frontiers conference with this idea of huddles. And huddles isn't a, I don't see as a full time, uh, you know, trying to remove uh, a Zoom or something like that. But essentially it's a, it's like uh, being around the water cooler, right? Want a quick meeting, boom, we have a huddle, I've got video, uh, we can talk uh, back and forth. Uh, and I think it's a good uh, toe in the water to a full collaboration solution in the future that that I think you and I are both expecting. Yeah, I think you you, you hit it on the head. You went actually so fast I wasn't ready on that one, but that was good. <laughs> Long and short is this, I've been very outspoken when I've been talking with Salesforce about the fact that Slack's integration needs to be deeper. The company needs to build something that looks, feels, acts like its own iteration of Teams because that's sticky. Um, we'll talk about Zoom a little bit later, but the biggest weakness and risk for Zoom has been the fact that it's not Microsoft. Um, yeah. Because people actually like using Zoom. I would argue in many cases, they like Zoom more than Teams as a standalone product. But Teams has all the integration. Salesforce has the opportunity to do that as well. And that's been kind of like a missing link. When are they gonna make this $27 billion acquisition part of a ecosystem for work or an operating system for work or, uh, you know, what um, I believe that's what Mark Benioff called it, you know, it, you know, essentially, uh, you know, it's going to be a, the future of work is going to be Slack and Salesforce together. And it's going to be the center of how you operate a, a bit operating system, like I said. So, you know, long and short, Pat, is these are little baby steps. You're getting baby steps. I think they're making progress. Uh, you know, as an analyst, I'd like to see more progress coming from Slack into the Salesforce ecosystem. But I will also admit, I've never done an integration that big. It's hard. Um, you may speak more to it, having been part of strategy during some uh, acquisitions. But there is a lot of complexity to making an acquisition work. A company like Salesforce is profitable. It's growing, and sometimes it is hard, especially in a market like now, to explain the amount of investment required. To, to actually make an integration like this happen. Don't bet against Salesforce. I will not bet against them though. I do think they'll they'll do okay here, but I think we're probably a year or two out yet from seeing a fully integrated product to compete with Microsoft Teams.